Hey there, how you guys doing? I'm Jamie, friends call me Gbo. So, here's my spot. My new house. I don't have a shop. And that's what I want to get built. So I thought I'd document the process, the kind of things gotta go, go through, get her done. Uh, I got a pretty big area you see right here. That's where I want to put a shop. I decided I'm gonna do a uh, post frame style construction just because of the sheer size of it and it being in the middle of winter uh, here in Drumheller, Alberta. It's December. It's actually a nice nice uh, warm day. Not too bad. So I'm just gonna do the process of kind of things I've been doing. Uh, so far I've I got my quotes, I've chosen my builder, and uh, my next step here is to uh, get a development permit going. So I kind of did the paperwork, I had the builder come out, do a pre-inspection of the site, see what he thinks. This is it here. I got a retaining wall. I'm gonna do a 30 feet wide. So from that fence to that fence, I'm gonna have to take this fence down because he's gonna need eight feet clearance for his machine to get through so they can do the the metal siding and the metal roofing. And then the same thing on all sides, really. Eight feet, all sides. They usually say 10 feet, but he said he would do it for eight feet. So here I got my concrete retaining wall. I'm gonna keep that in there, but I'm gonna rip this fence out and that goes to the alleyway. And that'll give him clearance over there. And I think uh, I'm not going to put a fence back there. I'm not sure. That fence will stay. And then he'll be able to get his, his lift in. Down there. Get it put up here. And I'm going to have to take this fence down. And I'm probably not going to need it because the, the garage itself will act as the fence. So now I got this big old shed. I think I'm gonna get that uh, relocated to the other side of the house. So I gotta turn it into my my firewood storage shed. Well, we'll see. Things pretty heavy. I'm gonna have to get some sort of equipment out there. So the developer came by, and uh, that's what he said. Now I've got I got my power line that goes to the house. I'm gonna have to call the the city. I'm gonna get the development permit first. And then uh, uh, once I get my development permit, then I can call them. And uh, hopefully it's not gonna be a big deal if they can relocate it to, I don't know, put a post in or something over there. Not sure how they're gonna do it. But I want to, uh, I was thinking about having power from up there, go to my shop, 200 amp service, split it off, put 100 amps to the house, 100 amps to the shop. That'll keep my welder happy, keep the wife happy too. We'll see after. And then I have another cable right there. And I think that's my fiber optic line for the internet service. So I'm gonna have to call the telecommunications company and hopefully they can either take that down and move it, or if I can just put it on the ground and, and they could do their work and I could put it back up after. And I'm gonna have to trim that tree down as well. So I've been shopping around for a couple of months now. It's uh, it's pricey in Canada. It's, it's gonna cost me about sixty-six thousand dollars to do the building, and then I'm gonna have to do the groundwork. I'm gonna do groundwork myself. I'm gonna do in-floor heating. I'll do all that. I'm gonna have to get it engineered because of the size of the pad is about eleven hundred square feet in the town of Drumheller. They want anything over. 1050 to be engineered so I'll have to pay a little bit extra to get that done. We'll see how it's gonna go. It's chilly out here, actually. <laughs> so that's the first step. So after I get my development permit, uh I'm gonna have to go get my electrical and my plumbing because I'm gonna wanna have a have sewer in there for a washroom and uh, maybe like a sewer dump. And uh uh, what else do I have to do? I'm not sure. The guy's gonna do the building. He's gonna insulate the walls and the ceiling for me and finish it in white sheet metal is the plan. And the build date is almost uh, two months from now. It's what, second week in December and I think the third week, February. Fingers crossed I'm gonna get that built.
and they say it's about uh, a week to get her done so that's where i'm at right now uh stay tuned i suppose i'll give you an update when i hear back from uh the development permit people the town see you soon